Just curious, but Jerry, I think. Kurt Myers has pulled the 1M car off the track. So apparently he's saving that number one M car. Yeah, he went off. Night. He went off on the first caution. Okay. I, I just haven't had a chance. I, I'm trying to get take notes. Yeah, you're busy. I understand. You're very busy right now. Jerry, of course, also the reporter, the beat writer for the Amgoral Speedway as well as the Proctor Speedway. So Jerry's wouldn't want a pencil down enough in here next to me while I yip away. Restart. With Flynn trying to get away and Oreskovich driving hard to the bottom of the track. Three wide behind him for third. With Kissling trying to make a move inside on Lafarge. And left off. You can't tell me there's more than one, or isn't just one groove out there, Jerry. <laughs> Lafarge and Kissling going at it side by side for third. Lafarge in the 19, Kissling the sixth. Down low, Lawrence trying to take fifth away from Lafarge the seventh. Kissling to try outside line this time and down the back straightaway. That is for third. He'll clear Labarge. Meanwhile, Oreskovich trying to reel in Flynn. No easy task. Dave Flynn, once he's got that super stock out in the wind, it goes. Oreskovich downstairs again. Boy, he gets close. Labarge trying to work back against Kissling. That is the second spot. There's Oreskovich again, catching those same marker tires that took out Burdick just a moment ago. Oreskovich driving a little fearless right now. Flynn holding his line. Labarge up to third ahead of Kissling, side by side. Dave Moss now challenging Scott Lawrence. That is for fifth. Moss started dead last on the 16-car grid. He is knocking on the door of a top five run. And Labarge and Lawrence have just shuffled Kissling back to fifth. Whoa. Moss just caught the marker tires, and he's going to lose a little real estate. He'll get that back in a bit. Meanwhile, up front, Oreskovich staying with Flynn in his tire track. Look at this battle for second, or for third now. Labarge trying to hang on against the tough Lawrence. And Lawrence caught a little bit of that one-two rut. And it cost him a couple of feet in real estate. Labarge now had to check up going into three. Lawrence right back at it. Kissling and Moss right there as well. Great racing action for third and fifth. About a half a straightaway behind the, the battle for the lead. Flynn, Oreskovich diving to the inside again. Flynn holds his line just as smooth as can be. One cool customer. Labarge hanging on to third, a car length up on Lawrence. And it's Moss and Kissling side by side for fifth. A ways back to Kurt Beckett in the 70X, making his first appearance here and running a solid seventh place. Some blue smoke coming out of the back of Adam Shin's 14S as the leaders come up to him with a white flag waving. Hang on. The rest of it just up the hill. And Shin got a little close. Flynn pulling away. D. Flynn. Two turns three and four. Oreskovich, one last shot. It won't happen. Dave Flynn will take the win. with his second feature win of the year. That makes up for the technical infraction in the Midwest Modified, at, le at least a little bit. <laughs> no, but now he's got that to think about when he goes in for tech again. <laughs> Freddie's gonna have to be the one to tell him I hate to, <laughs> I need to be Fred right now. Yeah. And issues for Adam Shin on the front straightaway here as that car just 
was smoking going around, and that one now has just quit on him, and I hope that's not a fire. Oh, that's steam. That's steam, yeah. It's dissipating it even, quickly. Yes, it even, you, we even heard it hiss up here as soon as he <laughs> hit the binders. Your top five in the Wasota Superstock feature tonight, Dave Flynn, his second feature win of the year, the number 29 F from Superior. Second spot to the 21 F of Nikoreskovich, third to the 19 of Tristan Labarge, fourth to the 77 of Scott Lawrence, and fifth to the two of Dave Moss. And they'll clean up the uh, mess on the front straightaway where Mr. Shin's car relieved itself. <laughs> Can we say that <laughs> on the internet? We just did. We just did. Yes. <laughs> Dave Flynn will roll it around. He's not real. I'm sure he's going to be disappointed when he, he may have already found out yeah. being on the scale area. They may have told him clean just a up. moment ago. But we have clean up on aisle one. <laughs> but you know, a super stock feature win cures a lot of ales. Yeah, it does. And he's, he's probably thinking, oh, now what? <laughs> with a car. All right, for the second time of this yeah, the mid-mod is still down in the infield, so I suppose if he saw that there, he's probably wondering. But for the second time this season, Dave Flynn from right here in Superior, your feature winner down in the infield stage. And we will hear from what he has to say, chatting with Fred Pearson from well, Amsoil Speedway. Dave. Welcome to the 29 show here at the Amsoil Speedway. Of course, Gandhi, easy, you know, 29, he won this uh, Midwest mod earlier. You finished about third or fourth, I think, in that one. But uh, tell you what, again, you guys did a great job, too. I think you only had the one caution uh, at school there, but uh, Nick Oreskovic was right on you most of the way <coughs> toward the end there. But you held on to it. You did a great job. Glad to have you back in victory lane. Thank you, Eric. Thank all the great sponsors on this car. Rick Amona Malinkovich, I wouldn't be out here racing if it wasn't for them. So Rick's Auto Body, Jimmy Saloon, Manitoba Bar and Grill. Turn three, Frosty, I'm coming over to get that 50 bucks. Uh, Magoo, Shell's Daycare and Cooter's Garage, and Duluth Electrical Contracting. Thank you. So that, that deal's still in play then that, that they brought out last week up there in turn number, I forget where it was, turn three. Yeah, it is. Uh, last week it was 100, this week was 50, but we'll take it. Well, certainly. Okay, now last week, uh, the topic of the show out here was, of course, the lighting. What do you think? Oh, the lights are great. It really makes a big difference. You can see a lot better on the track, and it'll be great next year when we get all the lights out here. Maybe we can get it done before the end of this season. We'll see what happens. Congratulations, Dave. Great run. Right. Um, Dave Flynn, the winner yep. in a Rosota Super Stock feature. And although Nick Oreskovich threw everything but the kitchen sink at him, that was a pretty strong run. Flynn held his ground. It was. It, that's what makes you coming back to the races off on and on because you, you, you never know who's going to be up there doing it and who's going to be taking the win. And, and how about the racing behind him, behind him oh, and Oreskovich for sec, from third on back to about sixth or seventh? As, uh, amazing. As good as the, as good as it was up front, you basically lose sight of that. Right. When you see, a, uh, I don't know how many cars were in that bunch. It was hard to tell. Yeah, at times. There yeah. was, uh, and it was hard to tell who was where, <laughs> at any particular place on the racetrack. That's the exciting stuff about this, this sport is, is to watch the skill. Those guys have got a lot of skill to be running, uh, literally inches apart. You know, front, back, side, bottom, and up, to whatever. On occasion, they make contact. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> intentionally. Well, racing, Not, racing. It's racing. racing. They're racing. Racing can be, has been called a contact sport. And there it is. It yep. does happen. 